Oh. Well, good evening. Um, I just wanted to record a short video to talk to you about the uh, the last week. I am one week into being in Kenya already, and it has been a a busy week. Um, it's been an exciting week. It's been a strange week. Um, getting settled and getting myself organized and you know it all takes time obviously and uh, it's good but the sun is out the sun is shining um, it is beautiful here at the moment absolutely beautiful there are flowers everywhere everywhere color and flowers and beauty as you walk down every single street it is stunning Stunning. I am absolutely captivated at the moment by the flowers, and in fact, um, they have started to make their way into a few drawings of mine. Um, so I'm settling in. The mosquitoes are settling in with me as well, as I have a, a few mosquito bites already to, uh, to uh, wait on uh, disappearing. Um, but all good. Yeah, so listen, a week in, um, it's been great to be back in Kenya, like uh, I'm getting to meet people now and um, talk with people and uh, people are starting to take an interest in my work and, and what I'm doing. So uh, the exhibition is opening on the 3rd of May. Uh, we have a date and um, it's a Saturday. It's a, a opening in the afternoon which will hopefully, if any of my friends from Naivasha um, or any other surrounding areas can come by in the afternoon and um, and see the show, and I'm planning to uh, to have a night around the middle of May as well. That will be like an artist talk and a chance to invite people down to kind of get a more intimate um, kind of uh, view of the work and a, a, a discussion with me about the work and what it all is. Um, so yeah, so Monday I went out to um, a place called Timber Corner, and I uh, sourced and bought a lot of wood. Um, to start building the stretchers, which was fantastic. So all that wood now is at the museum, and um, they have very, very kindly given me a space um, around, there's a workshop and an exhibition department around the side of the museum, and they have very, very kindly let me uh, let me uh, use use the space, you know, so which is fantastic, and um, all good. And then Tuesday, I went out to a, a place called Ruai, um, which is about seven kilometers north of Nairobi, and um, there was a funeral out there of an artist called, called Martin Otieno, and um, he's an artist that I met the last time that I was here, uh, a batik artist, and um, he died very suddenly, so I, I, I wanted to go. He was very kind and welcomed me into his home the last time I was here, so I wanted to go and pay some respects, and also um, it was a great opportunity to meet some of my old friends as well. Um, yeah, so that was on Tuesday. Wednesday I started building stretchers, so it's on the go now. Like I stretched my first two paintings yesterday, and then um, I also went out to uh, the Q and a Trust yesterday afternoon to visit my mentor, John Silver, um, who taught me how to uh, woodcut print a year and a half ago, and um, which, as most of you know, is a is a strong, you know, piece of my practice now. It's, uh, it goes alongside my painting in every exhibition, and uh, I'm going to be making some work here as well, which is very kind. Um, Silver has opened up his studio uh, to me to uh, to work in while I'm here, and I'm going to hopefully be taught a little bit further by him as well. Uh, so that was yesterday, and then today I'm having a day off. Um, I am doing a few wee ex exhibition bits and pieces. I've been doing some drawing this morning. You know, it's been a, it's been a lovely day, and the sun is setting now, um, and it will soon be night. Tomorrow I'm planning to go to Naibasha um, to visit my old friends out there. I can't wait, cannot wait to see my friends out there. So I'm going to go and spend the day um, and then come back tomorrow night and yeah, so we'll see. So it's Easter weekend. Happy Easter everybody and um, yeah, so there's a little update on week one. I can't believe this time last week, um, you know, my paintings had gone missing and um, I had no uh, paintings in my possession and because uh, the plane, they hadn't uh, made the transfer on the plane so therefore they didn't make um, the, the journey with me but they're with me now 
thankfully. The exhibition can go ahead and uh, yeah, so it's great to be back. Um, I'm missing home a little bit, but not, not too much. And um, I, I can't wait to see what happens this time. So stay tuned and um, I will talk to you soon. Over and out. Bye.